So we'll start with the common digestive problems. Of course, one I already mentioned in my other video is choking. This is when the food goes down the wrong tube. In the respiratory system, we have the larynx. And so, of course, if your epiglottis accidentally opens when you're swallowing food, sometimes when you're eating and talking at the same time, it gets into your, you know, trachea and you start choking. So basically, if a person, you know, is able to make the noise of choking and um, they're able to speak, they should be okay. But if they start doing this and they can't speak at all, that's when you should be doing the Heimlich maneuver. And just type it into Google and you should be able to see lots of websites talking about it. And of course, um, another thing that you may encounter is vomiting, which is basically the body um, trying to get rid of the things that are irritating it. It's a basic adaptive behavior. Mm. You're fine until you lose too much water from the GI tract. That's when you should be going to a hospital and have them, you know, hook you up to IVs and pumping water back into you. Which is what happened to me one time. It's extremely unpleasant. But, um, yeah. So, the other one is, um, diarrhea, you know, the going the other way, it's um, sometimes can be caused by, you know, um, irritable bowel syndrome, um, colitis, and um, for irritable bowel syndrome, you basically um, go on a low fat diet, um, have small meals, and um, gradually increase your fiber intake. Um, and with colitis, it's an inflammation of the large intestine. You could also be suffering from severe diarrhea and, um, you know, medication for that. So, um, you know, if it's just simple diarrhea, you know, you, you'll be fine without medication. Just, you know, rest a lot and have fluid um, water replacement, you know, just drink more water. Okay, so the opposite of that is kind of constipation. And um, not that kind of disease, it's just a symptom. It could be caused by several things. Um, lifestyle, too busy to, you know, Uh, go to the bathroom, so, you know, um, yeah, uh, so one thing you could do is probably go to bed earlier and rise earlier and like either leisure or breakfast and make sure, you know, you take plenty of time to go to the bathroom, which is nice and simple, and you could also be increasing your fiber intake, which will, you know, help you to defecate easier. Um, diverticula, diverticula uh, is the bogus in the weakened area of a um, colon, colon, so your constipation would be worse if you had diverticulosis. Uh, and let's see. Of course, laxatives is also helpful. Um, okay, so more symptoms is, you know, belching and <clears throat> gas, hiccups. Those are just normal. And, um, the heartburn and acid indigestion um, that is caused by a condition called reflux, reflux, uh, which is your um, esophageal sphincter opening up and the acid, which is hydrochloride, goes back into your esophagus and it's about located at the same 
general area as your heart, so that's why they call it heartburn, but it's not really your heart that's burning, that's just the stomach acid that's burning your esophagus. So yeah, mm, you could take anti-acids, acid controllers, and um, don't overeat or eat too quickly from, you know, indigestion. The other one is, of course, ulcers. Before, people thought ulcers were caused by stress, but really it's caused by bacteria. And um, the Helicobacter pylori, just, you know, take antibiotics and you should be fine. So, going over all this again, choking, um, take smaller bites of food, chew throaty before swallowing. Don't talk or laugh at the same time as you're eating, and don't eat when you're breathing hard. For diarrhea, you know, um, rest a lot, drink fluids to replace your fluid losses. Call for medical help if your diarrhea persists. Constipation, um, eat a high fiber diet, drink plenty of fluids, exercise regularly, respond promptly to the urge to defecate. Um, Belching. and just you know eat slowly chew thoroughly and uh, relax while you're eating um, gas um, eat the food that bothers you the most in moderation um, for harbor eat small meals drink liquid between meals sit up while eating um, wait for an hour after eating before lying down uh, wait two hours after eating before exercising and um, don't wear tight-fitting clothes um, avoid food beverages medication that makes you have heartburn refrain from smoking cigarettes and lose weight if you're overweight for ulcers of course you take medicine and you avoid coffee and caffeine and alcohol containing beverages you avoid foods that are Know, aggregating your ulcer um, and don't you know use so much aspirin and of course with heartburn don't smoke cigarettes just generally bad for you that's it